Hey there, my name is John Hanlon and this video is for the Tutorial Brothers video competition. So today I'm going to show you how to use a green screen in Premiere Pro, also called Chroma Keen. And there's one specific uh, tip that, there are lots of tutorials out there that you can figure out how to Chroma Key in Premiere, but there's one tip that I found out recently that I just kind of stumbled across that I wanted to share with everybody. So here is my finished uh, green screen studio shot after I've keyed all the green out. Um, so basically it's this one one shot of this guy and then it goes to the two shot of both of them sitting at the desk but I will go ahead and take the take the green out so you can see how it originally looked Oops, that took one out and let me get the other one out so that was my original shot I actually made it made it smaller um, so the original shot was like this. I made it smaller so it would look like they were leaning on the desk. And then this is my background. If I take that out, there's the, the shot. And then the same thing on this one. And again, I moved him around so that it would fit with the background. And so, okay, so you've got the, the green screen shots here with the green in the background. I'll go ahead and make them bigger just for the sake of so that it's the normal size. And so you go over here to your uh, effects, go under video effects, and then down to color key and just drag the color key effect right on top of the video. If you've got it open here like I did, then it will show up. Um, I've also got crop here, color key, and then select the color that you want to key out. So it's about about that color let's say and push OK and then OK there we go I had it on the wrong thing <laughs> but uh, so you can see how it slowly takes it out and the the trick here is to take out as much of the green as possible without taking out too much of him so if I go here it's taking out too much of him if I go here, it's a little too much of the green. So I'm going to go about about right there, and then I'm going to take another color key and drag it on top, and then I'm going to select another color. So let's see what of what's left. It's a little bit dark, so maybe about right here, something like that, and let's see how that does. So that pretty well takes all of it out and leaves all of him still in there. So the one thing that I discovered recently when I was doing this video is that you can add multiple color keys. I had never I never heard anyone mention that before and I, I never thought of it until I was just playing around but there's no reason you can only add one in. So once you've got one in and there's still a little bit of color left like with this I had a darker and a lighter and unless your lighting is absolutely perfect and you have a completely flat green screen you might need to do this so feel free to add a, a, a lighter and a darker green screen. And then there's other adjustments you can make also. Edge feather, which uh, this video actually, this shot turned out very, very well because it's sort of a close-up of him and it's all pretty even on the background. So I don't need to do much there. This one was a little bit harder. It's a little bit wider. There's more variation in the green color in the lighting of the background. But let's go ahead and select what I think would probably be closest something like that maybe and then let's take out as much as we can and if you watch the guy on the right his hair I had these two guys a little bit I found out later once I brought it into the editor that I had them a little too close uh, to the green screen so I'm going to have to take out just a small amount here I had to stop it and restart there because my screen capture program actually has a five minute limit on it so I'm restarting here and I also zoomed it in because I noticed that was pretty far out and it was kind of hard to see what I was doing but anyway so we are taking out the green from this shot here and like I was saying uh, I had them a little bit too close to the green screen I later figured out once I brought it into the editor because the reflection of the green screen um, was actually in this guy on the right it was in his hair so it's actually part of his hair so it's almost impossible to get it out 
get out all of the green screen, but you just have to make it look as good as possible. So let's see what we're doing here. So I'm taking it out here and I gotta take out as much as possible without taking out his head. So you can see that it's sort of disappearing there. So that's about as much as I can do with this color. So I'm gonna come over here to the effects and my mouse will be off the screen because I zoomed it in, but uh, and drag that down to there. And I'm gonna grab another color and see if I can get a little bit more out. A little bit lighter color. And let's see here. So that takes a little bit more out. And you can see that the green that's left there is very dark. So I have a feeling that I'm not going to be able to get any more of this out. Oh, a little bit more. Okay, so about right there is the most I can do. And then I'm going to need to add one more in. And get that. So this one actually has three. And I'm going to need to make it darker. Because the green that's left there is about like that. And then let's see, go down here. And that is about perfect. You can see a little bit of the reflection of the green on the table, which is going to be really hard to get out. And in the end, the end product, once you put a background with it, you're not going to notice any of the, uh, the little things like that. So it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. And then you can come along here. You can see it's a little bit, uh, a little bit jagged. And you can come along and do the edge feather to smooth that out. See, I took that right away. And then um, it's, it's also as good to to crop down your video. I'd already done it on this one, I think. But crop down your video so you don't have uh, so to make it the least amount of green. So you have to take out. No reason to take out you know this whole big black box of green when all you need is this little box. So that is the green screen tutorial. And just out of for the sake of randomness, I have taken the finished product. So I would maybe play around with this a little bit more. You can always play around with it and take a little bit. But that is the the basics. And uh, here is the finished product. I just threw it in on a picture of uh, a sunset and a giant tire. And uh, you can see it there. And another, another thing to note, I zoom this photo in on the single shot of him. So when you've got the double shot, it's zoomed out. You wouldn't want the single shot of this guy to be the same photo you see when it's the double shot of both of them that wouldn't make any sense because normally if it was if it was a normal background you weren't using a green screen it would be zoomed in so you would not want it like this the exact same shot for both of them something like that is how you would not want it when you've got that same shot here or similar shot so you want to make sure to zoom in your background just like it would in real life when you zoom in your camera on one person. So that is my tutorial. I hope that helps somebody out. Thanks. Bye.